So if you are a teacher or you, and you have your own children, or maybe you're a homeschooler and you want to use some easel activities with your own child, I'm gonna show you how you can access easel for your own child in your own home because we all love TPT and we want to give the best to our students. So let me show you how you can access easel with your own child. So if you want to use easel for homeschooling or for your own student, what you're going to need to do is set up a Gmail account for your, for your child. So come up here to the corner and say you want to add another account. And here, you're just gonna go to create an account and you can say for my child and go continue and then fill in their name, their last name, a username and a password and then say next and you will have your account for your child. Then just go to your easel activities. So here's one of my test activity. So what I'm gonna do is just click on it and I'm gonna come up here and say assign. This is going to either let me do it on Google Classroom or assign with a, a, a link. If you are doing this for homeschooling or for your own child and you have just set up an email account for them, you can use this link. All you need to do is just copy this link and then paste that in an email and send it to your child. Then I'll show you what happens after that. So once your student clicks that link in the email, it's, they're going to come to this page and then they just sign in with the email. But what they need to do the very first time and you can do this for them is just come down here and sign up. So I'm gonna put in my student's information and then put in their password. and check, 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 sign up. Now they're going to send an email there and they have to verify the email first. So here's the email right here. They have to finish signing up. Click on that. You're almost there. Confirm your email. So now your registration has been confirmed and we're gonna go back and log in again. Go back and go ahead and click that link again, and we're going to sign in with email. And now it's going to accept us. And go ahead and click sign in. And you enter your name, and I'm going to just write test, but obviously you're going to put in your student's name. And then they enter. And then here they are. They have access to the lesson. Once they're done with their lesson, they just click along here, they finish the lesson, and they turn it in. Yes, turn it in. And your activity was turned in. Awesome. That's how your student can access it for homeschoolers.